and the NBA MVP, but if you ask Celtics guard Kyrie Irving, it should have been someone else. Irving telling the radio station Hot 97 in New York that his former teammate was robbed from the award. MVP is it's hard to gauge nowadays, like because now you have the people's MVP, then you have like the NBA's MVP. You know, like so. Who's the, the people's league? MVP in your mind? I think the people's MVP was was definitely James. Okay, but the NBA MVP was definitely Bron. So you Easily. you think LeBron should have gotten the the MVP? I mean, if we're talking strictly based off stats, like he checks every. It's him mark, every like, year yeah. though in that regard, right? Yeah. Does anyone do more for one team than LeBron does? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Right? It's tough. I mean, He's but it's incredible. boring to give it to him every season. Like He's that's incredible. For more on this, here's first take. Hey, bro, in the morning, good show right there. All right, guys, Kyrie Irving calls James Harden the people's champ, actually the people's MVP, but LeBron James the real MVP. We on this program are well aware of the rift that divided Kyrie and LeBron. So with that being said, Max, what do you make of this statement coming from Kyrie? Two things. One, Kyrie is being the bigger man, or a big man at least. Good for him. Um, but and, and I want to give him credit for that. Just as I give him credit for leading the Celtics early in the season after I was skeptical whether or not he was actually a winning player. He was showing that he sure oh, was a winning player. I would go further than that, sir. I would go further than that, sir. You were far more than skeptical. Come on now. No, I was skeptical. I asked the question. I didn't say no. I no, pointed I'm not talking to the about evidence what you asked and said him. I was skeptical as a result. No, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not talking about what you asked him when you interviewed him. I'm talking about when you said when, when the trade went down. That's what I'm talking about. When yeah, the you trade can go went back down. and look what I said. I think you were skeptical. Far more than skeptical. I think skeptical is no, I don't think so, but okay, you can categorize it how you like. The point is that Kyrie also is doing something else here, Stephen A., whether or not he intends to, and I'm skeptical, Stephen A., that he doesn't. <laughs> what he's saying is, guys, guys, yeah, I wasn't the best player on that team. I get it. You know why? Because LeBron is on some absurd level. He's better than everyone, but I was Kobe. He might have been Shaq in his prime, but I, in other words, just because I wasn't the best player on the Cavs, that doesn't mean I'm not an MVP level player, just like James Harden. Well, I take the first point. I think that he was definitely being a bigger man because, you know, you got to remember what has been my biggest beef with LeBron and the notion of him being the MVP. The MVP is not just about your numbers and it's not just your excellence in terms of your abilities. It's about your leadership as well. All of that stuff plays a role. And I think that when you look at the dysfunctionality that raked through Cleveland last year, that made it such a roller coaster ride, that put them in such a precarious situation where we were all questioning whether or not they would even make it out of the playoffs or make it past the first round. I think all those things had a lot to do with LeBron. And obviously the first or the first domino to fall was Kyrie Irving wanting out and ultimately getting out of Cleveland. So I definitely think that Kyrie Irving was being the bigger man. And I also think that Kyrie Irving, by saying what he said, is not only being the bigger man, but also sort of altering the narrative to some degree. He clearly learned from LeBron James in that regard, because if you sit up there and you're willing to give LeBron James credit and show him the respect he so richly deserves, because there is no doubt that LeBron deserves that respect and that credit. The flip side to it all is that nobody is focused anymore on the fact that you and LeBron parted ways. He gets to play ball in peace, you get to play ball in peace, and you can be done with it, and that's that. As opposed to the narrative of LeBron and Kyrie falling out of love with one another, following them around wherever they go. The fact that Kyrie is big enough to acknowledge that, uh, which by the way, uh, you know, I, I think for the most part he's always been that way. I think that that sort of assuages the concerns uh, that people may have in terms of the narrative involving the LeBron mm -hmm. and Kyrie for years to come. I think that that's what this was about as well. Yeah, and he's also telling the truth. I mean, you got to give him credit yeah, for that. He is telling the truth. LeBron is. He is telling the truth. Right. He, he's telling the truth as he sees it. I will give Kyrie credit well, for not, that. When not, he I'm, came. Not, not on, about the MVP. At the yeah. MVP talent. I'm just you know, I, you know, I feel James Harden should have been the MVP. So I don't, I don't mean he's telling the truth right. about that. I mean he's telling the truth as about he what sees he sees it. about LeBron. Yes. Yeah, I think he's, say, he's telling the truth about the MVP as he sees mm -hmm. it, I mean, Stephen A. When okay. he came on this show, I felt he was being evasive, which is being less than honest. Even if you're not, like, lying, you're not being forthright with what you think. And I think partly that's because there were things he didn't want to talk about. And we butted heads because I said, hey, if there are things you don't want to talk about, just say it. And he didn't want to say that. And then I felt like he didn't want to say that. And he was being evasive. 
maybe a little PR okay. conscious or whatever it is. But I'll give Kyrie Irving credit for being honest here. And even when I got on him for being, I felt, irresponsible and really ignorant about, like, the earth being flat, things like that, it does take a certain amount of courage and, and to be honest about your feelings about something, even when you hold a really stupid opinion mm. or, or you don't know the facts. So I will give him credit for, uh, you know, skepticism or cynicism aside, just being honest. This is how he felt about it. LeBron's better, but James Harden got the award. Yeah, it's probably also easier to compliment LeBron when you're not in competition for the award as well because he didn't play, right? Coming up, guys, Tim Tebow's baseball dreams. Yes, he will. I can't wait.